Good morning, guys. I was trying to be cool and go live on YouTube, but it's not working out for me because I'm also simultaneously trying to get in my hot girl walk, you know. So, anyways, um, I shared this idea on Instagram, but you guys know how Instagram stories disappear in 24 hours. I was like, no, no, no. This idea is too good, too share worthy for me to just let it go out like that. So I wanted to come and also talk about it here on the YouTube channel um, so that, you know, it will kind of live a little longer. So I am in public and I do get nervous with public, public vlogging. So y'all see me acting awkward it's because I'm shy. All right, so I wanted to talk about a concept that I came across on TikTok a couple of days ago. It's called No Zero Days. And when I first heard it, at first I thought it was going to be one of those, you know, hustle culture, get it all done culture, neglect yourself to be productive and don't care about, you know, your well-being and, you know, sacrifice, which all of those things have their time and place, you know work until your eyes bleed <laughs> those all have their time and place but this season of my life in my 30s I already have a full plate you know taking care of my family work all the things um it's just not appropriate for this season of my life and I really have to be and use sustainable approaches when I'm working on goals that are outside of my family that are outside of my job so if I have like a personal project that I want to work on um I just need something more sustainable than that. So I came across this idea, No Zero Days, and basically it's just a tool to help you move through procrastination. The idea is that, let's say that you have a project, like a little side project, and you, you know, especially, it's so easy to deal with procrastination, especially when it's something that either the deadline is really far away or there's no deadline at all. You know, and it doesn't mean that that project is not important to you, but sometimes it's easy for like things like that to get pushed to the back burner. So let's say you have that kind of project and you notice that you're procrastinating. One way that you can overcome it is by using the no zero days policy. And the idea is that just try not to let a day go by where you do absolutely nothing to move that project forward. If you do more than zero, mission accomplished you've done enough um so for example i have this thing that i'm working on i can't really talk about it until it's done unfortunately but i noticed that i've been procrastinating for a couple of weeks on it and so i heard about this policy and i was like okay i'm gonna try that in this particular area of my life um this particular project oh, let's see somebody's behind me all right, this particular project kind of matches the description that I just described a moment ago. It's optional. It's just something that I want to do for myself. If I don't do it, it's not the end of the world. And there's no deadline. Like, I could literally work on this forever. I mean, not forever, but you know what I'm trying to say. But it's important to me, and I want to get it done. And so, like, it's been getting pushed to the back burner a lot for the last couple of weeks and so I was like okay let's try this no zero day policy and all I did on day one was I just opened up a spreadsheet gave it a title put labels on it done no zero days you don't have to do 50% day 100% day just make sure that it's more than zero and then yesterday I had another no zero day I was just like okay I just want to you know enter one field on this thing and move on I don't really have a lot of time and then before I knew it like I put filled in so many entries on the spreadsheet because like I don't know sometimes getting started is the hardest part you guys and for me even though like I'm nowhere even near close to getting this project done I just noticed that that's where confidence starts to come in for me and like me feeling good about myself and good about the direction of what I'm working on. It, I used to think all these things came from hitting the end goal, perfection, getting the thing accomplished. But it feels really good too if you know that this is something that you've historically procrastinated on and you see yourself like making progress and getting things done.
so the reason that i like this approach is because it's sustainable like there's literally no excuses i probably won't be doing like no zero days every single day but like monday through friday i don't think is too much to ask if you're not feeling it just move the project forward a little bit if you are feeling it move the project forward a lot but just like help yourself break the pattern of like neglecting that particular area and for me i probably will only focus on one or two projects at a time so i don't get carried away with trying to do no zero days for like every single thing in my life that i want to move forward with i don't think that's realistic anyway um so i wanted to talk about a little bit about procrastination and why i think this is helpful I am not one of those people that believe that procrastination is comes from like laziness. It can, but I think there's a lot of other reasons that people struggle with procrastinating that has nothing to do with laziness. And I think a policy like no zero days can kind of help you through some of those issues. Did I say laziness? If I did, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to say. It can help you through procrastination. And no zero days can help you address some of those underlying issues. I think people struggle with procrastination for many reasons, but one of them can be perfectionism. You're already, you have this vision in your head of what the end goal should look like, and you feel so far from that, or you feel like it's going to require so much effort, so much time, energy, work. And I don't really have that time and energy right now. So instead of like taking little tiny dents out of it, you're like, I'll get to it when I can. I'll get to it when I have time. And you guys know that that doesn't always have to be required. Like, it's okay to accomplish your goals in small bite-sized pieces and, um, you know, accomplish your goals that way. Another pe reason that I think people have a breakdown or struggle with procrastination is because of fear. You know, sometimes when you have the vision and there's, like, so many unknowns, so many questions, what if this happens, what if this doesn't work out, what if... What if that? And instead of going down that path and finding out for yourself, you know, you kind of just stress yourself out and kind of convince yourself that it's not worth the time and energy. Or, I don't know, you just kind of freak yourself out and it makes it hard to move forward on your goals. And I know that that's the reason that people can struggle with procrastination. I think people can struggle with procrastination because of breakdowns and executive functioning once again it goes back to the same thing if you have this vision in your mind of what you want you have this end goal of what you want but sometimes creating a clear path to get there you know it's not always like an easy thing to do and it's not always something that everybody's brain can be able to organize in an effective way and so that can feel overwhelming if you just like I don't even know where to begin I don't even know what the next steps are like I don't even know how to coordinate this and that can lead to procrastination as well and I think the list goes on and on and on and so implementing a policy like no zero days can help you tackle some of that if you're struggling with perfectionism it can help you break through that because it's just like okay I just have to do something just open and title a spreadsheet boom I'm done and even though it doesn't seem like a lot you just did more than you did for the whole entire week last week when you were all in your head stressing about it you know um and getting overwhelmed and thinking that you don't have time and if you do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day like it's just going to take you further than being in your head if you're struggling with fear it doesn't i don't know for me it just doesn't feel so scary and it doesn't make me feel like i have to confront the future just to do something small you know and to kind of move forward a little bit if you're struggling with a breakdown in executive functioning you know you may not be able to see the full picture of where you're going but you might are you might have an idea of what the next step is and what you know the stare immediately in front of you is and how you can move forward in that way and you know, you may not even have issues with executive functioning for the entire project. And that's what I like about this. Like, you may not be, you may not be struggling with the entire project. You just might be struggling with the step that you're on, you know. And if you could just 
overcome that step, overcome that hump, then you can kind of build momentum and create flow and get excited about your project again. So anyway, I'm really excited about this concept. You know, I know I share a lot of ideas with you guys and it's not that we should be implementing all the ideas, but it's just another tool in the toolbox to help us reach the goals that are like important to us things that unfortunately if they get done they don't get done it's not the end of the world but it feels important to us it feels like something that we want to see happen and having little tools like this mental tools and our little toolkit can help us not only take care of the things that we need to take care of you know like work home family all the things but helps just create that little bit of space to move forward on those special projects for us as well um, and not feel like the pressure to devote a bunch of time to it if we just don't have it you know and so and that's just the reality sometimes there are things that you want to do and it's just not the season to be able to like devote a ton of time and energy to it unfortunately but that doesn't mean that we can't start to lay the foundation doesn't mean that we can't put the groundwork there if we want to you know so I'm super excited about it and I'm like feeling you know yesterday was a pretty just good day overall like at work and um you know just home and stuff like that which is great because it's been a really crappy q3 for me but um the thing that I feel like I felt the most happy about yesterday was the fact that I made progress on this thing that is important to me that I've been struggling to move forward with and just kind of seeing myself show up for myself in that way that felt really good and so I'm thinking just Monday through Friday take the next step and if I have the capacity to do more do that I'm gonna implement that and I'm hoping that the goal the project that I am working on really hoping to see something happen with that before the end of the year and uh, I think it's possible now because at first I wasn't sure I was like girl but I think it's possible now so anyway just wanted to pass that along to you guys let me know Let's talk. Is there something that you guys are struggling with or you procrastinating with that's important to you, but you keep holding off? And think about how do you how can you implement a no zero day no zero days policy today? What is the next small step that you can take to get moving in the right direction? Alright guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one.